Who do I see streaming? Mr. Gotham Chess himself! How is it possible that the day I'm gonna try to do what he's really good at? Levy has a series on Elo Gesser that is like 100 videos. He has played <laughs> Hikaru and Alex, Levy, there, but it's mainly a series. If you guys don't know, Gotham Chess has a series on this game where he's trying to guess the ALO, the rating of the players. Mainly his own subscribers, but there's also now a website called ELO Guesser. That's what we're gonna be playing today. Try to guess the rating of the players of the game. But he is like the absolute world champion of guessing the ELO. And now, when I'm gonna attempt it today for the first time to guess the rating of the games, he has just gone live. Levi, are you trolling me? <laughs> What? He hasn't been streaming in like ages. <laughs> and we're gonna try to channel our inner Gotham chest. That's what we're gonna do indeed. That's what we're gonna do indeed, folks. Love you, base, as you said. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we are dealing with. The instructions are the following. Guess the ELO. This is a rated Blitz game played on chess.com. The ELO difference between the players is at most 200. Guess the average ELO of the game. So... There's a difference of maximum 200 rating between the two players, maximum. And we need to guess the average of the two players from 0 to 3,500. Mmm, I wonder who could that be, the 3,500 rated player. So far, so good. This is the French defense and white played bishop c4. Not the best move against the French defense. So I don't think that we are looking at an experienced player's game b6 black doesn't push d5 which would gain some tempi i was trying to draw an arrow but i think i cannot d5 would have been i think a really good response to bishop c4 so so far i'm thinking we might be dealing with a game between beginners but what rating of beginners or intermediate level players this knight why well, just trying to go for some kind of a scholar's mate with queen f3, queen h5, because the bishop is not attacking f7. The pawn on e6 is blocking the way, so knight to g5 doesn't make that much sense. Knight to h6 immediately protecting the pawn that wasn't really needed to be protected. You can also just develop the knight to this more natural square on f6. Or if you are that worried about the knight, I guess you can try to chase it back. Not that it's easy. After pawn to h6, queen h5, you still have that threat of checkmates. I think knight f6 would have been a good move or attacking the knight, but knight h6 wasn't really needed. Now queen f3 and f6. Okay, um, black was a little bit worried about this whole situation. Again, you can also attack that knight by developing your bishop and that attacks g5 too. So you don't need to move this pawn. Careful moving that f pawn. It weakens your king as long as your king is in the middle of the board. So I think these are inaccuracies, but white is going for it. White gives up a piece, a piece sacrifice on e6. Let's see if there is a follow-up, because now that the queen moves, you can't take here, you can't take here. You could trade the bishop, but if that was the point, then there is not really a point to it. Takes on h6. That I like, because I think white is trying to make black take the bishop and then queen h5 check if the queen blocks then there's knight c7 fork that would be very big brain but also this knight on e6 is hanging will black take the knight on e6 they do that's a good move too so bishop takes h6 and queen e6 i think this last pair of moves was actually pretty cool i'm impressed with this last pair so far you guys are saying definitely below a thousand around 700 is the guess in the chat 300 to 500 I think below 900, sure. How much below it? I don't know yet. Because this last pair of moves was pretty cool. <laughs> Check and playing g6. That makes sense too. That makes sense as well. Queen f7 too was a good move. Both of them. Just not to have to move the king, I believe. Sputnika, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for using your blue cram powers here. My camera's going out of the focus. But thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so check g6, queen is hanging and the queen doesn't have too many squares from which it still is guarding the bishop. 
Queen h4 was the only good move because if you go to h3, if you go one square further, then the black queen could trade that queen and after the capture of the queens, after the trade, the bishop on h6 is hanging too. So that would have been two pieces up for black. This is one piece of the one piece that white has sacrificed. Knight e4 I like a lot, threatening knight c2 fork but also if you castle as white you can still take on c2 and that rook in the corner is trapped knight a3 guards the pawn so white notices the threat yeah these last couple of moves have been pretty good better than how the game started at the start i thought maybe we're looking at 400 500 these last moves maybe it's just 100 <laughs> who am i to tell i don't know but these last couple of moves have been good f5 and reacting to f5 with c3 chasing the knight back that's a good move as well f5 i like too for black because black is trying to open up the long diagonal for the bishop this game has started to become better from the middle game on the opening i wasn't really impressed with just then i started praising the players knight to b5 um trying to attack but no one is no one is helping that horsey. It's hanging. Black would have just taken it, but Black did not take it. Black moves the king to protect the pawn that wasn't really hanging. Oh no! What do we do now? So they played a couple of good moves. The game started not so well. Then they played a couple of good moves after the sacrifice happened. The sacrifice wasn't good, but you know, it's a blitz game. You can be inspired and you might gamble. But this last pair of moves, a hanging knight that was just placed there hanging and the opponent not realizing that the knight was hanging. I don't know, d4 and now black realizes that the knight is hanging, look at that! I moved too late but it was still there. So two pieces up for black. a5 is brave. It's brave to push the pawns in front of your own king with opposite side castling. Black is up two pieces so it would be enough even if you are just tr uh, trying to simplify the position with trades, bring a rook to the open e5, or try to bring the queen now, for instance, to d5 or g4 and put pressure on g2. After the knight jumps away, there would be a threat of checkmate on g2. I think a5 is a bit obscure in this position. You don't really want to play on the queen's side in front of your king opening up the position, but white pushes b5 and black <laughs> again, that same square. All right, it's only a pawn, but it's funny how that one same square where it was this semi-blind spot by both, maybe not semi-blind spot, but full-on blind spot, it still is being a blind spot or maybe black was afraid of taking it because the b file opens up. You cannot know. This isn't that big of a mistake, but now white has time to guard the pawn, obviously, and the knight is stuck on a7. It is stuck. It's clearly a game between two GMs. I think you've got it. I think that's the solution, GMB. Yeah. I'm so confused. There have been some really good ideas and some really bad ones. <laughs> it's a mixing ball. Rook e5. That's a good move. Attacking the queen. Queen g4. Threatening checkmate. White spots the checkmate. Black insists on the checkmate. And then now there's no defense. After queen f3, queen g2 or queen h1. No defense. Black won the game. The finish was pretty. The finish was pretty. Well, now we need to take a guess. What rating? Average ELO of the players from this game. Let's sum up what happened. The opening wasn't really good. French defense, bishop to c4 is not a good way to play against it because black wants to push d5 anyway. Black did not push d5. And then this whole idea with knight g5 is quite an awkward one. When the pawn is on e6 already and black was... I guess afraid that there would be something happening, something bad happening when f7 and plays knight h6. So that stage of the game was a bit a bit strange. And then the peace sacrifice is not a correct sacrifice, but white wanted to attack. Taking on h6 though, and taking on e6 and this check. And from here on, this was a good part of the game. Also preventing the knight fork. I'm puzzled. I'm very puzzled. Will we say... 800 some of you are saying five to six hundred seven hundred yeah i'm hesitating between five to six hundred or six to seven hundred 
And this is the first time I'm trying to play this sword. I might be completely wrong. Let me know what do you think. What do you think? 750, 900. I don't think... I don't think it's above 900. I would be very surprised if this game is above 900. What about dropping it as, at 700? What do you guys think? That's one the poll on our channel. So let's go with... Let's go with 700. That seems to be... Quite a popular response. And let's see! Just like in GeoGuessr, are we a few meters away? Or are we hundreds of rating points away? Submit. Do you guys want to see the correct answer? A thousand and one hundred? Eleven hundred? This game? I was so sure it's below a thousand. Meow! Eleven hundred... Eleven hundred and five! Gameonchess.com I don't wanna click though, I don't want- I don't wanna be shaming the players in case it shows the usernames and such. Shout out to the players of this game in case you recognize yourself in the game. Um... Well... Eleven hundred. Okay! Let's try to do better in the next one. <laughs> Let's try to do better. Okay. This is a new game. Let's do better this time. D4 opening, D6. This could have been Pog Champs. The King's in the end. This is one of the popular defenses that some of the Pog Champs 3 participants learned against D4. Knight H6. And after d5 immediately pushing c5 such a close structure i don't think this is a game of beginners this knight maneuver and all the rest is i believe at least intermediate level if not more black takes the bishop on e3 plays knight f6 so far this is a very all right game i don't play the king's indian defense but so far both players have been pretty much consistent with how you normally play these kind of positions by trying to trade the bishop so that after the trade of light squared bishops the white queen was gonna infiltrate to e6 and d7 that's a great idea this knight on e4 is a very strong piece much better than the e7 bishop so white is doing better here but queen h6 is a good idea to put pressure on this pawn and white makes a mistake because bishop takes c8 is the idea that white wanted to go for but white doesn't realize that the queen takes e3 is a check so even though when a bishop is captured you usually expect your opponent to take back careful because an intermediate move check and then taking the bishop means that now black is up a pawn and that queen is doing really fine on e3 so this was a blunder this was a mistake by white and white was doing better earlier strategically Hmm, what does this tell us about the game? And what happens later? Black with a pawn up, will black win this game? What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, b5. I like that idea to undermine a d5 pawn. Sacrifices a b pawn for the d5 pawn. Knight e4 back to attack d6 and the bishop. Bishop e7. It's still quite a high level of game i feel like even though white blundered that queen takes e3 was a check the rest is still pretty good but why do i jinx it every time i compliment the players something bad happens every time well we already played once before but the previous game i jinxed it and now i jinx it again rook f2 is something that white should have prevented after bishop to h4 rook f2 is the threat to win the queen so the rook Maybe it's just that it's very difficult because you can't bring the rook to f1, then the knight on d5 is hanging. But white could have tried to move the queen away from the second rank, queen to e4 for instance. And then rook f2 is only a check and the bishop on h4 is hanging. So there was a way out of this. You can also, maybe if you want to be tricky, go for queen to c4 and try to go for discover checks, aiming to win the queen on e6. Just an idea, but it no longer is possible because the bottom's gambit happened. Is black going to win this game? Yeah. Black took the pawn on a4 and white resigned. What do we think of this game? 1800, 1300. It is a blitz game. Take into account that it is a blitz game. So there weren't 
too many mistakes. The first mistake that White made was blundering this pawn, so taking on c8 instead of guarding this pawn. But until then, White was doing better strategically in the opening. I think that knight on e4 is a really strong piece, and White was fine if it wasn't for that blunder. And then at the very end, I guess when they were both low on time, here White couldn't defend properly, but it was already a losing position overall. 1400, 1646 exactly, wow! 1700, definitely above 1500. It was a good game. I think, I think this was a really good game in comparison to what we have seen in the previous game. Much higher level. Strategic plays hard in blitz. Yeah, this was a good strategic game. It was only these few tactical motives that were missed. 1836, obviously. Just type a random number. <laughs> Just, I, I appreciate how you guys are supporting each other. Let's go with what well, many of you have said around 1600, 1700. We could mark it as a 1600. No, 1650, 1700. Shall we say 17? Because some of you said also 1800. Between 1600 and 1800, the, the halfway would be 1700. Cross fingers! Do you guys want to see the solution? Oh, you see it already, right? I thought I need to move my camera. How is this a game between two grand masters? 17! Hundred is what we were going for, and it's a twenty-seven hundred. Twenty-seven hundred. It is a blitz game, but even in bullet chess, I feel like grandmasters wouldn't blunder that intermediate check. They would not. They are grandmasters. We are so bad. We are. <laughs> we are really bad at this game. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> These are all played on chess.com. So these are chess.com ratings, blitz ratings on chess.com. But you guys and myself, we all have our chess.com ratings that aren't this high. And I know we blunder a thing or two, but this game too had mistakes. It was a pretty good game, but there were also blunders. How are they grandmasters? A grandmaster level might not be grandmasters by blitz rating, obviously, but still that's very New game. All right, folks, let's let's do this. Let's try our very best after this amazing start. Adam, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for the support. All right, E for G5. This may not be a grandmaster name. Grandmaster name. This may not be a grandmaster game, but at this rate, who am I to know? Bishop C for D6. Queen H5. Ooh. E6. Black did, Black did not allow the capture of 7. The g5 move was brave. Wait a second, white is sacrificing though and Black doesn't take it. The Black Bishop could take it, then white takes with the Bishop, then Black takes with the Queen and Black is alright, Black is up a piece. This sacrifice is a gamble and Black didn't call the gamble. But went deeper into trouble. Oh no! From going from a possible piece of position to the king is almost checkmated! How did it survive for so long? This game went on for 50 moves! And the king is on d7! On move 7! <laughs> Still theory? <laughs> what is this? Alright. Winning some material there. Ah, that's why the game went on for so long. Because they traded queens, but white is up a rook. White is up a rook. Okay, let's see the technique. That's good. Capturing a free piece, but there's this knight fork. And the, the knight fork kind of was... Yeah, it was hanging in the air, but it wasn't possible earlier. Knight d4, and then white gives a check. So white was already in semi-danger for this knight fork. But of course... Winning the piece is still cool, and if you move the bishop, then you will be taking the knight for the rook. Or promoting the pawn. Yeah, this is great. 
this is good stuff, but you could have also waited with that pawn. Move the bishop first. Yeah, this felt a little bit rushed. Also, 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 by the way, this pawn on h6 is hanging with a check. If you take it as a check, it's almost checkmate. The king can only go to e7 and then you have your rooks protected by each other. There were many great moves in this position. e7 I think is good too, but it just feels like... Now both rooks are still hanging, so that part wasn't solved. I guess I'm being too picky here because white is up tons of material. I'm just trying to see if this will lead to a quick... Quick conversion of the game, I was gonna say check which is a fork but it's a fork with a knight versus a knight that is not a fork because a knight can take you um i guess by blunder that the knight was looking at the f5 square i think it's still winning of course completely winning now those pawns are promoting it just wasn't oh okay this is the final stage of the game they must have been completely out of time and then it's checkmate you know what, the final phase wasn't that bad, considering it's a blitz game, considering it must have been time trouble. I think the endgame was pretty good. But what wasn't really good is the start. What is this opening? And what is going on here with this sacrifice on g5? Which should have been taken. And after bishop takes, you take with the queen, you don't take with the pawn. If you take with the pawn, your rook is hanging. But you can take bishop, then queen. And just have a piece of where the queen has to be traded or go back to the base. What are we saying? 900 to 1200, 2450 based on the previous game. Between 500 to 2000, 3000 or more. 1250, 2000, 2345, 300. That's quite a bit of a gap there between those two comments. So from our past experience, I'm saying 2,500. <laughs> 2,300 right now. 25, 1,100, 1,800. I think this is... The thing is, the opening, I would say the first phase of the game is very questionable. I would have said it's beginners playing. But then the end game was all right. It's also true that white is up a million pieces and it's easier to play when you're up many pieces because even if you blunder back a piece or two you're still up and that's what happened with the rook why well, didn't prevent the knight fork but why is already up so much material that it didn't matter hmm difficult to tell that poll is beautiful let me take a look at the current poll at least a hundred less than three <laughs> the poor at least a hundred less than 3500 somewhere between or at least a hundred what do we say 99.9 .9 accuracy for both sides this game was all theory <sighs> at some point in time we'll play a role as well and that's the crazy thing that the final phase of the game i feel like from this end game on it was a pretty good game there were mistakes but in the blitz game a move 20 30 40 the more we went into this game i thought the better it was yeah there were mistakes and blunders but overall i guess i don't know i don't know the opening is the most fishy part to me 1,000, 1,800, 1,200. Will we go with 1,200? <laughs> 750 or 2750, your final guess? 1,200 or 1,300? 1,200 is our guess. Ooh! Look at that! 4,993 points for the community because this game was rated 11 7 to 7. What? We are so good at this game. We are so good at this. Easy. Our first and only glorious moment but we're gonna appreciate it that was good nice yes chat yes anna you guys said it i'm just relying on you 
This was well done. <laughs> Toxic chat <-era. laughs> We are so good at this game. We're gonna be so full of ourselves. <laughs> Told you guys it was between 500 and 2000. <laughs> you did, Mirza. You did. <laughs> We are clearly the best now. I agree. We need to we need to challenge Gotham Chess for a battle. <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> I'm ready for my ego to grow. Oh Elias. <laughs> I'm level 2.0, but only together with my viewers, only together with the community. Yeah, our egos are growing together. We've got this. Let's keep going. We are so good at this. Next game, no one can stop us. Queenie 2, the blankie is opening, but no one knows it outside our community. Maybe it was a mouse slip instead of the bone clad, they went Queenie 2. And Queenie 7, are they trolling each other? What game is this? G4, Knight C6. Bishop h3. Okay, maybe they're not trolling. Maybe they are just beginners. This seems to be so far a very beginner game when it comes to how to develop one's pieces. Black is going for it too. All right, I think these these gentlemen or ladies are new to chess. Although, look at that knight f6 of to h5. I'm waiting for knight d4 to attack the queen and threaten c2. As a knight fork, but b4, all right, free stuff, and then a pin. But this is hanging with a check. <gasps> oh no! Instead of knight c2, which would be a check, attack the rook, attack the bishop. Black played the botus gambit, and white accepted the botus gambit. Magnus versus Fabi 2018 World Championship. <laughs> Oh no, the boat is giving me strikes again. Black was doing so well up until then. Knight c2 is winning a piece because it's a check and then you pick up the bishop that was going to capture the queen. Oh no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Queen g4. Attacking the rook, white has a good idea with a bad execution, unfortunately, for the queen's sake. Oh, a classic double bottles gambit. <laughs> and now the knights are hanging, but no one cares. The pawn can take the knight, this knight is attacking the knight, and the knight is attacking back the other knight, but no one actually wants to take the knight. Now the knight is captured. What's the material count at this rate? I lost track. Black is up a piece, apparently. Black is up a piece and doing fine. Why is the result 1-0 when black is doing fine? The thing about the knights. The thing about the knights. <laughs> if it's above 500, I will quit chess forever. Oh no, Swarna, careful. Careful with those statements. Because <laughs> this game... Okay, the free knight is taken. White captures on c5. That's a rook down, a rook and two pieces down for white. How is white winning this game? White won on time, I guess. Oh no! White won on time? Okay, at least the moves were decent. Double bot is gambit. <laughs> The double bottom gambit is quite telling and also this opening. They wanted to play the blankies opening but it's not quite. Um, this bishop on h3, black pushing h5, knight d4 and all those things would have been cool too. Although I like h5 and knight f6, not, not blundering the rook is important. But then the queen, stop taking on c2. High level 2600. <laughs> this, this gotta be below 500, right? It's gotta be. What do you guys think? Below 500? I think it's two beginners. I feel like this is a game between two players that recently learned 
maybe not the rules of how the pieces move but they started learning a little bit about development too so e4 e5 classical but then the queen moves and bishop h3 and all this g4 thing it was an experiment an interesting one 500 tops 458 <laughs> you're gonna eat the table babe 500 420 600 you think it's Miko's game? It's a cold Miko game. Oh, <laughs> this is Kevin and Anna in hand and rain. Could be. 700. What happened with the other queen? This was the first Botus Gambit in the game. And then here comes the second. I think the second is more understandable in a way that White really wanted to attack. Sometimes you just get too lost in your own idea. Please make a tutorial for Blankies. There is a post on the Blankies opening on our subreddit. So make sure to check that out. Make sure to check that out. Obviously it's a meme opening and I don't think these two players were actually going for it. 300 to 400. Could be. Could be. 300, 400. At least you think 400. Shall we go with 400? I feel like the, the 3 to 400 mark seems to be seems to be about where it is with the double bottles gambit this opening and the development phase it was a fun game i enjoyed it let's go with 400 then i think three to four hundred was gonna be our guess anyway so let's go with 400 and hope for the best we got some points for this uh, but we weren't very accurate 186 well they were beginners uh, we just didn't know how much of a beginner they were 186 is the average rating of the players from this game 186 they said minimum 200 no 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 um that the difference between the two players is a minimum 200 sorry minimum not maximum so we are guessing the average rating between the two players and the difference between the two players is at most 200 yeah it's a bit confusing but we are not guessing white's rating or blacks we are guessing the average rating let's let's check a few more games until the giveaway the scandinavian opening this could be pock champs this is an opening i thought to rubius so it could be it could be pock champs 3 rubius play this against xqc also against um <clears throat> which was the other game now pocky's one was one d4 that wasn't the scandinavian which one was the other scandinavian game do i remember it correctly <gasps> oh of course against daniel negranu that was a scandinavian too so it's daniel negranu versus rubius or exclusive versus rubius Maybe not, <laughs> but this is fine. This is all right. Yeah, this this is a well played game. D five and black castles queen side. The fact that after the knight is hanging, you just go and castle because you see clearly that by castling queen side, your rook will end up on d eight, pinning the pawn, and so the knight cannot be taken without losing the queen. This is a great game. And the pawn is gone, so d5 was bad. Black played better. And by great game, I mean... 1800? <laughs> Above 1400, I agree for sure. But I don't know how close to 2000. Hmm. And again, look at the pins. Black is using the pins all the time. After h3... Black is saying, you know what? I don't need to move the bishop because when you take your rook, it's hanging on h1. I think Black is the higher rated player in this game. It feels like that. And now peace sacrifice to weaken the king. Threatening rook h5 and checkmate on h1. Yeah, wise bishops are doing very poorly. There's no immediate way of mating because g5 and h5 are both guarded. 
Bishop to d6 could have been an interesting move too, I feel like, to develop the bishop and let's ask quite how to react to the checkmate. Maybe f4 was still decent as a defense. Now bishop to d6. Oh, wait a second. Maybe black's idea is a better version of what I wanted to do because after h5, white played bishop f3, not a forced line, but white has to do something and white is trying to defend but once the bishop is on f3 bishop d6 the rook is hanging but if you take the rook it's checkmate on h2 and white can no longer push the pawn to f4 white can no longer push the pawn to f4 which would have been a defense a move earlier bishop to d6 here to threaten checkmate white can still push the pawn to block the diagonal after the bishop is on f3 you cannot do it what this is a good game i think black is quite high rated right but the difference between the two players cannot be more than 200 rating points so based on white moves though this d5 is bad and then the pawn is gone white could have tried to push c4 to hold on to the pawn but then e6 maybe there's no way of holding on to it White got into trouble pretty early on in the game and h3-2 is not a good move in that sense that you are not attacking just yet. After castle the bishop is hanging but now the sacrifice happened. 200 rating points the maximum difference but I feel like black did really well and white didn't really. 1800 to 2000. Maybe it's a 1500 but black knew the opening better. It, all, it could also be the case, especially if you are playing an opening, such as the Scandinavian, that it can become your pet line. You can become an expert of this opening. My, my father too plays the Scandinavian and he plays it all the time. So if you play an opening all the time, you kind of know the tricks and, and strategies. Not, you know, not just tricks, but proper strategy and development and ideas in this opening. So it could be the case that black just knows this opening very well. But the sacrifice too was impressive. The hanging rook and playing confidently bishop d6. I think black is about 2000. At least. <laughs> but what about white? Just thank you so much for the 16 months. Tomato hug to Jess and to everybody. The tomato hug emote was drawn by my moderator Jess. That's the lovely tomato heart there. Tomato heart or tomato hug. Both. It expresses both. It's a hug. It's a hug and Jess has drawn it. And now we have it as a, an emote. Thank you so much, Jess, for the support. Hope you're having a great day too. What do we think of this as rating? What do we think? I just played in a created opening. It's true that white didn't really blunder because that pawn on d5, once you push the pawn to d5, it's pretty much in danger. The pawn, even if you guard it with c4, e6 as a follow up, black will win that pawn. So maybe white just misplayed the opening and white is not that low rated. It's simply that white didn't know the opening very well and then castled into this attack. And that is tough with the pins and h5 or g5, all those ideas, bishop d6. I think black is 2000 and 2000 or above and maybe white close to it, 1800, 1900. What do we say? What do we say? I also am not too impressed with white's play, but in reality, white didn't blunder apart from pushing d5, which is in a blitz game, it's quite an understandable move if you don't know that much the opening because castling queenside is not that obvious. I don't know, I feel like black is a 2000 or more, but white is lower rated. Zarum, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you very much for the support. 1800, 1900. We'll go with 1900 as an average between 1800 and 2000. 1900. Submit. Oh wait, let me move my camera a bit higher so that we don't see the solution immediately. 1900, you guys say? We get tons of points because the correct ELO is 1848. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Look at you guys! Not bad. Not bad. Um, we are becoming a world champion of this soon. Just a bit more practice. Just a bit more practice. Well done. You said 1700. Good job. Very close. Very close. Let's do one last one because soon, in a few minutes, we're gonna have a giveaway. So let's do one final one to celebrate how big brain we are. We are amazingly strong at this game, obviously. And we will not remember the cases where we got zero points for that GM game. So next and final game. Next and final game for today. And then we play soon GeoGuessr. But first, the giveaway. We are major big brain. We are super big brain. The Pirates defense. So, so far theoretical. Bishop G5. I feel like often white would develop first the knight or push here, but bishop g5 is possible. f5 though is a bit too much. Usually you develop the knight. Um, and if you push pawns, that normally is c6, b5, all those kind of setups, not f5 that weakens the king. Well, white took it and black develops the bishop. Bishop d3 I like to weaken the light squares, get to this g6 pawn. Black doesn't take, correct. Guarding it is needed to guard the light squares better. So maybe, maybe I was too judgmental of this f5 move because the rest is fine. The rest is okay and now suddenly black has this f5. Whoa! Are we looking at GM games again? <laughs> f5 or 3000. Yeah, the rest seems to be good. Taking and then pushing g5. So black had the idea that even though this pawn is hanging, they can take on d3 and then push g5, so now it's an empty square instead of a pawn hanging. But knight d6 is a good move. White is doing well, not jumping to g6, but jumping to e6, attacking the rook, attacking the bishop. And it's a very uncomfortable situation. d5, I love. Just gaining even more space and restricting black's position. Tons. Look at this. Everything is paralyzed here. And that e6 knight, the octopus knight, is controlling the full board. Dominant. A dominant piece. But 98, correctly chosen square, there aren't too many, but 98 at least tries to trade it. You can't capture here because then there's a pawn fork and black sees it. So black tries to undermine d5. I think this is a game of higher rated players because even though black got into trouble, it wasn't easy to avoid this. And after h4, again, what do you do? Everything is opening up. Maybe you should still try to push or take, but man, it was a tough position. It's getting even tougher. What? Peace sacrifice, you say? Why just takes that pawn on d5 with the horsey to deflect the defender from f6? Give this check mate in the end. Look at that. Beautiful. Not too difficult, but beautiful. That is a beautiful idea. I think this, this game was good and there aren't really blunders in it. This f5 is a bit questionable. But that is a strategic weakness, this F, this F push and the G6 pawn that later become vulnerable and the, the Black King in general. This knight getting to E6 was crucial, but there's not much that Black could have done about it. I guess it was tough. Maybe taking and then you gotta run and push E5, but G6 is already hanging. So it just, it just wasn't time for all this, pushing the pawn and all these weaknesses, the g-pawn weak, the e6 square weak. What do we say for this final game? What do we say? I think white played really well. I feel like white didn't make any mistakes. Were there any mistakes? No, and also this development. You normally don't place the knight on e2. It would be a lot more natural on f3, but I feel like here it makes sense because you're heading toward f4. So I think white is a high rated player. White should be a high rated player because it's an impeccable game from White's side. This bishop to g3 as well because I feel like White is just preparing this knight jump to f4 and if you jump there immediately there's this nasty pawn fork with g5. It's not easy to make retreating moves like bishop to g3 just to prepare a knight maneuver. I think this is a good game. This is a good game. <laughs> Why did I look at the poll? 
Why did I do that? <laughs> Why? All right, the, the answer is clearly never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and uh, desert you. So yeah, let's let's see. Uh, what number is that though? <laughs> what number? What rating? But I didn't see the mate. Um, yes and no. I guess at the end it's already difficult. White is up a pawn and this attack is super strong. After knight takes d5, it's not just that you don't see the mate, but how do you defend against it? Knight takes f6 is a threat. And even then, if it's not immediate a checkmate, the house is on fire. This black king is going to be checkmated soon or white ends up winning even more material. This, this position is completely lost for black. So whether you take or not, sometimes I feel like in these bits games especially, I think black saw the mate. My, my evaluation of this final situation is that it's those kind of moments when you know that you're lost and you have a choice between resigning or letting your opponent checkmate and I find it, I find it actually a nice gesture when you know that the game is over and you let your opponent give checkmate. You could also resign or you could just try to survive but maybe at this rate black was just like this game is gone. I don't think it was a blunder. Because how do you defend against the mate? White is threatening to take, and then you need to take back with the rook to give one square to the king. Queen h7, king f8, then it's not checkmate yet, but it looks terrible. It looks terrible. Yeah, so it wasn't gonna be checkmate, but maybe at this point, black thought that it's checkmate no matter what. That, that could be... I'm just guessing here we are guessing the yellow but i'm also guessing what could be the mindset maybe black thought is checkmate no matter what i don't think they didn't realize that if they take the knight is checkmate i think possibly they thought the game is over no matter what but what does that mean for a rating white played great this bishop to g3 the knight maneuver putting pressure on on g6 and hopping onto e6 then pushing d5 white played excellent h4 grandmaster move and alpha zero as well White played great. I think this is this is well below two, below not, well above. I think it's above two thousand at the least. Mindset guesser. <laughs> we need a new game like that, right? I think it is above two thousand. Hmm. I think it is above two thousand. But it's true that. Black didn't defend the best, but the position was so difficult. It's difficult to find the best defensive moves when it's it's just looking terrible anyway. I didn't mean to say well below 2000, I mean well above. Well above, I would say 2200, honestly. 2200 or more. I'm, I'm even considering whether it's more, because it's a blitz game. And there was no blunder in it. Yeah, black was outplayed, but in a blitz game? Hmm. Why is Anna playing at her peak? Oh, thank you. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Hmm. I don't think the final position matters. Uh, again, I, I don't think that this is what should decide what's the rating, because if you think you're lost, you might just give up anyway and play the next game. So I don't think this this blunder or not blunder is the decisive factor. I think the decisive factor is that white played really well, perfect game from white side. Not a mistake, not a single move that is even like semi-optimal. White played excellent. And then if your opponent plays so well and you are in this much of a trouble of a position as, as here, even if you're a higher rated player, you still are in a huge trouble. I don't think black has a way out of this. It could be 2300 or more, 2300, 2400. Because black is in trouble. It's not the blunder. Black is in deep trouble. Black is in deep trouble here. 2300, 2200. What do we go with? And then we have the giveaway. So this is our final, final position for today. What do we say? What do we say? 
2200, 2300. Shall we go with 23 or 2200? 22 or 23? I'll let you guys pick. 2400, 2200. Which one? 2000, 2200. 2200 seems to be the more popular one. So let's go with 2200 and see. It might be 1200. <laughs> Hopefully not. They played excellent. White played really well and Black was in trouble from a slight mistake. At F5. Maybe the F5 is not a slight mistake, but it's a bold move in a Blitz game. Let's see. You guys are absolute geniuses. Much better than Gotham Chess. Am I right? Okay, maybe we could have a few more sessions. If you guys like this, let me know. Let me know in the chat, in the comments. Let me know if you like this game. Shall we play more in the future and become just as good as Gotham Chess? Because obviously Levy is the creator of this game. So to say, wasn't created. Uh, the site wasn't created by Levy. It was created by Shiki, let me show you, you can also play this, it's elogasser.com and you can play it also, made by Shiki, YouTube video here if you want to click on it but I think this idea comes from Levy because he started playing this on stream months ago, if not a year ago and he got really good at it we are almost at his level, after this session I feel like we can challenge him easy Thank you so much for watching. This was streamed live on my Twitch channel where I stream full time, five days a week. Do catch us live next time or follow the highlights and the votes here on my YouTube channel. In either case, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much again and bye for now. Until the next time.